Connecting a PLC to its input and output devices can be a chore, especially the more devices there are and the further away those devices are from the controller. Long, convoluted wire runs, crowded enclosures, complex troubleshooting, and general confusion can result. However, for Modbus TCP-capable controllers, there's a field I.O. solution that can streamline the whole system. Stride DIN-rail-mounted field I.O. modules aggregate a number of I.O. points and connect them back to the controller over one straightforward Ethernet cable. Automation Direct offers 10 models, handling different types of I.O. data. Discrete and analog input and output models, as well as thermocouple and RTD input modules. All are industrially rugged, easily deployed, and a breeze to configure through their built-in web servers. Let's take a closer look at one of these. The SIO MB16CD D2. This is a combination discrete input-output module with 8 syncing inputs and 8 sourcing outputs. To get this ready for deployment, we'll power the module and connect a computer to it via an Ethernet connection. Open a web browser and enter the module's IP address. The factory default address is 192.168.1.100 with the username of admin and a password of password. Once you're connected, you'll have the configuration application in your browser and be able to set communication parameters for the module's 10100 Ethernet port username, password, Modbus node address, etc. It's highly recommended that you change the default username and password, especially if this module is to be part of an outward-facing network. You can monitor the state of the I.O. points and various system data. The module's user manual provides full details. Importantly, the manual also contains the device's Modbus map providing the offsets that will allow your controller to access all the I.O. data the Stride module is collecting and to control its outputs. Notice that the I.O. data may be read, or in the case of outputs, written as single word registers or as individual coils. If needed, brush up on your Modbus function codes before you set up your communications. In action here, we have our combination input-output module communicating directly with an Automation Direct CM5 HMI. For the module's inputs, we've wired in some simple switches, standing in for the switches and sensors you'd find in a real control system. For outputs, we're using some indicator lights. The CM5 features a number of protocol drivers for communicating with various PLCs and other devices, but there is not one specifically for these Stride devices. Not to worry, in cases like this, we'll pick a more generic Modbus driver. Again, we're using Modbus TCP, so we'll use the Modicon Modbus TCP IP Ethernet selection. First, we'll set up our tags with the help of the Modbus map mentioned earlier. As we mentioned, the I.O. points are available as either coils or single words, which is to say the coils packed into a word. Bit 0 of word 40031 represents output 0, just as does coil 00489. In our case, let's use bits of word for our addressing. For the outputs, we'll be using the first 8 bits of word 40031. And for the inputs, 40032. On the screen, we'll use 8 toggle push buttons to control the field I.O.'s outputs, and 8 indicator lights to reflect the status of the inputs. Toggling a touchscreen button lights the corresponding output light, and closing one of the physical input switches activates the on-screen indicator. The Stride Field I.O. modules are as easy as that. Not sure about you, but I would trade a lot of messy wiring runs for some simple addressing any day of the week. For more information about these Stride I.O. modules and thousands of other automation solutions to make your life easier, visit our web store, www.automationdirect.com. Click here to dive into more Field I.O. videos. Click here to learn more about our communication products. Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay informed about all our new products and videos.